Okay, this is where we left off um, from the last session. Now, um, sweep or splines and sweep. Okay, now I'll be the first to admit that we could have created um, the geometry for this cockpit in quite a lot of different ways. Um, for example, this glass or perspex round here we could have created that using one piece of geometry instead of three separate pieces. Same with the struts, uh, the supporting bars here and the strut down here. We could have done that again in a number of different ways but for this I chose to use this spline and the sweep. Um, sweep is an interesting uh, modifier in fact we can use this let's have a quick look at this okay so we've got the sweep on and we didn't use the built-in selections these angles here we decided to create our own and that's these here we're only using this one at the moment now this is just another spline that we've created and so we picked it and that's the profile there and it's it's following basically the spline okay so what else can we do with this well in here at the moment the pivot is centered that's there we could say well we want the pivot on the top left that would place it there what about middle left right so it's still along that axis there but it's been raised up or down let's put it back into the middle we've got our X axis here now this isn't going to um, change the size it just changes the position along the X axis let's have a look at this there we go you see let's zero that back out and let's see on the y-axis so there we can raise it or send it down and we can also adjust the angle on this so there we go so just the angle and of course we can also tell it to bank so if it's in a circle it will actually bank around so quite a few things that we can do with this simple modifier here now so long as that modifier is in the stack then we can modify this at any time we want the moment we collapse it then we can't do any more but let's have a look at this this is simply a spline we've selected it now and let's pop into vertices so I can select those two vertices there we're in select to move so if I move this it's modifying that piece of geometry as I do so I am saying note alright the screen froze again where were we yes with this spline here so basically we're using this spline here as a template for this spline and of course while sweep is still in the modifier stack we can modify this uh, to any shape we want we can even add other sections of splines to it and that will be reflected in this spline so it's a very interesting and it is a very powerful little tool is sweep okay I'm gonna come up to the root on that one I wanna select that let's just pop up a little bit because I'm going to press shift and make a copy make a copy I'm going to say yes so now you can see that we've got a copy of this but I don't want that shape I want to go pick and I'm going to pick that shape there and there we go that's our shape so we've now got the other spline. If I bring that across, 
that should fit nicely onto that part there and there we go so it is let's say quite a powerful little tool well worth exploring further okay well let me just check these out and then we'll crack, get cracked on with some more I just wanted to check down here that everything's fine yeah that looks good okay right well let's pop up to our oh by the way we'll leave these um, with the sweep in the modifier stack for the time being so back up to create into our shapes spline and we're going to go online now I want to turn um, snap on so that's S on the keyboard and there we go there's our first snap yep one two and three right click to end that action now let me convert that to an editable spline and we're going to turn snap off so again that's S on the keyboard and you'll notice that we had a little circle in there that's just telling me that snap is active apart from the fact that everything sort of lights up as you go around okay so we've got our line here um, I want to apply sweep to the modifier stack now it's automatically picked our angle here but of course we're going to use custom and I have another one up here let me just zoom in a little bit and there it is that's the spline that I want to use so I'm going to go pick and spline C and there we are let me just change the color um, to our steel gray okay so you can see that we need to make some modifications to the um, original spline here so let's take it down to line into vertices select and move tools there so let's just select that one take that down a little bit um, what we'll do is go to refine because I just want to add another one there now we can't see it but you can see the cursor it's giving me those two little strange lines with that plus on that's telling me we're over the, l the line or the spline so I can press that now let's turn refine off let's grab that spline come on refine is off there's one there it is thank you now let's bring that up we'll bring it up to there I know there's another one round here now let's bring that out to there this one we are going to come on right click over here we're going to smooth it out and we can see it's uh, playing well silly buggers again excuse my French okay so we've got that one now I'm looking for the spline down here now it should be in that area there yes it is let's bring it up to about there um, I think actually I'm going to bring that down so it goes a bit further can we go down? yep I need to come out so I just want it going down that way right let's pop back up to here because I want to grab that one and bring it out come on bring it out just to about there let's rotate around a little bit 
up to sweep right now let's have a look here again so really the spline needs to come down and fitting into position so there's the select and move let's just bring that down so it starts fitting in to position there and across to there we, that's the part I'm looking at there zoom around a little bit more it's just a little bit of faffing around for the time being is this remember the part that we're going to be modifying is this section up here in fact I am watching the time but right and just swing that round there bring that there grab this and I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to take it out of the equation for a minute and I want to put it over there now let's go to this and I'm going to bring it down and then bring it forward and pop in here now I can see the profile here so interline vertices select that one press control select that one right click smooth let's bring them down and across to begin with take those see what I'm doing is modeling to this edge here and I know that that spline that we have over there is changing as I'm doing this up a little bit let's bring that down um, let's take those two across about there all good stuff this in it let's leave that as it is leave that as it is bring that out bring this one up out to there to there what about that one that should line up there ok back up to line let's move this up and out the way for the time being and I should now be able to select that one just come out a little bit now let's bring that back in it can be a bit of a so and so at times bring that back in to there and there we go that's a nice fitting profile alright mindful of the time We'll continue this in the next session. Okay? I'll catch you later.